Hello, happy garagers. So, I, sorry for my absence. Uh, I need to upgrade my phone. I mean, seriously. But, in uh, this video, I'm going to discuss P0171, which is a fuel system two lean code, and particularly on these uh, Toyotas. This one happens to be a old Corolla 2006. Um, the 1.8 liters with the plastic intake, the old 1ZZ. So these cars get a P0171 and it happens when it's cold. So if you do have this DTC, this trouble code, um, what you wanna do is look in your freeze frame and the freeze frame will record the data as soon as the car has has warmed up to its closed loop operating temperature which on these happens to be about 165 is when it goes into closed loop and when it does that the lean condition is just now correcting itself so in the freeze frame data when you look in your freeze frame on your little obd um, code reader tool if you have that function you're going to scroll and uh, see what the temperature of the engine was when the fault occurred or when it recorded the fault. Uh, and if that temperature, that engine coolant temperature is uh, around 165, it might be 170. Um, and then you want to have a look at your, uh, of course, the recorded fuel trims and you're gonna see that they're high um, long-term fuel trim probably going to be over 20 short term um, probably somewhere around 9 or 10 so you and that is the way you determine you can also look at your intake air temperature uh, just to see the temperature of when it occurred if it does occur when it's cold it is the intake gasket as you can see here this one has never been replaced uh, i think there's about 140,000 miles on this car and it is absolutely squished flat. So that will be your issue when you have a P0171 and it's set while it's cold. So I have, uh, I have the, the replacement parts. This is an updated part. There is the part number. You can get these at Napa, they're relatively cheap. And this is a relatively easy job. You're also gonna need a throttle body gasket. This one happens to be a Felpro. Not a huge fan of the Felpro, but there's the part number for the throttle body gasket. And uh, again, a straightforward job. There are uh, three, three bolts. So one, two, three bolts. And then uh, two studs that this will hang on once you have this out. And... Uh, yeah, relatively easy. You, all you need is a 12 and a 10. So that's how the bolts are. There's one back there and there's one there. You don't have to, to remove that one. It just uh, is a support for the throttle body. Uh, and then there's four 10 millimeter, two nuts, two bolts uh, that hold on the throttle body. And that will be your throttle body gasket, which is not squished. Uh, I've I've been able to do this job without replacing the throttle body gasket, but it's a $6 part, uh, not worth the, not worth the, the question. Um, when you're done this job, you're going to have to clean the throttle body as I've disconnected the battery. Um, there is one tricky hose in the back that is your, for the brake booster. And that does go around the back. I'm doing this single handedly guys, as usual. And there is the port for the brake booster on the very back there. Make sure you do not disconnect that. So yeah, a 12. Oh, and one bolt at the bottom. It's a 12. Uh, oops, and I lost that guy. But there's where the 12 bolt goes there. Uh, I do take out the dipstick. Just makes it a smidge easier. And it just, uh, it just kind of lifts and, and rolls out but there is there's how you fix a, a p0171 when the engine 
when it is um, setting the, the treble code when the engine is cold. Um, and there it is, intake gasket, uh, cold fix on a Toyota 1ZZ, uh, Corolla, Matrix. Uh, those are the only ones I can think of. There's probably more. Thank you for watching. Happy Garage, everyone. And, well, well happy garaging.